Thanks for dropping by. We love the classic fish and chips combo and a beer battered fish really hits the spot when those cravings kick in. When you use the big old dar chutlin, you have to use way too much oil which causes the fish to lose some of its subtle flavours. And apart from that, it's way too oily. You know, it drips the, you have to really pat down the fish after you finish cooking to get some of that oil off. It's just ridiculous. And frying, well let's not even go there. Apart from the spatters and the mess, it's just not worth the headaches. And the air fryer, well, I've been using that a bit lately and the fish comes out perfect. It's a fantastic substitute without the mess. The fish comes out as every bit as crunchy and as flaky as any other fish you'll cook. It's brilliant. We're making you hungry. Let's get started. Now with your fish, I'm actually using flake today. It's a very subtle but very beautiful fish. Now, first step is, you see right down the spine there. That's where the spine runs before you fillet your fish. We're going to cut right down that line and make two separate fillets. And with your fish, you really want to dry it out. Not dry it out totally, I mean pat it dry. Take that moisture off. So it's going to make it much easier to crumb the fish once you do that. Yeah, look at that. Look at the size of that fill. That's going to be absolutely magnificent in the air fryer. Coming really soft and flaky, it's going to be magnificent. Flake is one of those fish, a lot of people don't eat it. I don't know why. It's a beautiful cut of fish. You, can't, you just can't beat a good slab of flake. Now we have flour, plain flour. So we dip through the plain flour first into a beaten egg. I've got two beaten eggs to make it much easier for myself through to panko breadcrumbs. Now panko, they're a very coarse, they're dried out, it's like stale bread if you like, granulated stale bread, it's very coarse. And that's gonna give it a really nice crunch, golden texture to the fish once it's been cooked. So you start off with in the flour, make sure you get a really good coating on that, on both sides. Now I like to dunk on, I like to batter up all my fish first. But I get all the flour up first, so I don't go making globs. And what you can do is add some salt and pepper to your flour. So then it's fully embedded in the fish before you start putting egg wash on or breadcrumbs. Just tends to soak in a little bit better and give that fish an extra bit of taste. Now, as far as how much to use, it's probably, uh, if I had to guess, it would be half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. It really comes down to taste. There's no hard and fast rule, rule when it comes to fish. Now, soak it. Let's just run it through the egg wash. Straight into those breadcrumbs. Make sure you get a good coating. And pat them down so they really stick on there. We don't want them falling off. Now with air fries, you'll find there's generally a set of pictures on top, which tells you what you can cook, how long you can cook it for. Gives you a bit of a rough guide. So in here, fish, 160 degrees, somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes. So I'll set the top dial at 160. Uh, I'll set that once I've got the food actually in the tray. Now, when you're laying the fish in the tray, lay them in there nice and gentle. Now, what you don't want to do is have the fish stacked on top of each other. So you have them side by side. And we'll put them in there for something like 15, 20 minutes. We'll start off at 10 minutes. 
And that way, I know that's halfway. So I can take the fish out and flip them over. So we get a nice even cook on both sides. So you see, they tuck up the whole pan. This is a five litre air dryer. So they do take up quite a bit of room. So we set that at 15, half of that. So it's about seven minutes, give or take. And we'll come back and flip it over halfway through. Okay, the buzzer just went off. We're at the halfway mark. And it's starting to come up looking quite nice. So we give those a quick flip. And we put them back in again for about another, what did I say? 15, so about another seven minutes. And we should be done. So this time you see, give it a nice coat of olive oil spray. You want a good quality spray because I've heard that some really cheap sprays will damage the internals of the air fryer or just spray it before you put it in, even better still. So, just go back in again. Another seven minutes, and I'll see you in seven minutes, I suppose. Well, we're done. Ooh. Look at that beautiful golden fish. Look at those breadcrumbs, absolutely amazing. That, with a nice little side salad on the side. There's one issue. Oh, before we get that, look at that. Peels off beautifully, perfectly cooked. Couldn't ask for anything better. Like I said, there's one little issue using the air fryer. I can't cook my fish and chips at the same time. The oven cooked top you can, air fries you can't. So if you really want your fish and chips to come out hot together, you might have to use the frying pan. But overall, look, I'm very impressed with the way the air fryer cooks the fish. Works brilliantly. And thanks for tuning in and watching. And if you've mastered, if you've mastered using an air fryer, how about letting me know what you're cooking up and how it turned out. Any failures would be much appreciated as well. Because it's the best way to learn is from other people's mistakes. So how about sharing your mistakes around so we can all learn together. And if you like this video, how about pressing the like and subscribe buttons below. By subscribing, you'll be notified of any future videos. And the other and at the end of this video, you'll see links to my other videos, such as how to make tartare sauce, or how to cook perfect uh, sweet potato fries or chips in the air fryer. So let me know what you think. And tune in next time for another quick, tasty recipe. And remember, keep it simple. Bye for now.